And now here's my pop. Wait, who is that? Who are you? I'm Winley, Papa. Yeah, this is my. So you heard the other office assistant tip tapping just a minute ago. This is my special office assistant. Who is here with us today? Thank you. I love you. I love you. Okay. Can do some more. Huh? I need to do some more. Okay, in a little bit. Hey, how you doing? My name is Tom Rigsby. As well, she didn't say. She wouldn't say Tom Rigsby. You want to say it again? No. I ah, see. She won't say it. Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist. This is seven minutes in the morning. Where you get your daily dose from me. It's Friday. That means it's free coaching Friday. Before we get into that, do what Joe has already done. Leave a comment down there. Say hi. Give it a thumbs up if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, like it. Subscribe it. Ring the bell so you get notifications. If you're listening on iTunes, Stitcher, uh, tune in, all those other venues, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com where you can get involved in the conversation. I'll bring you the right Facebook page, and that's where all the cool stuff happens. All right. So uh, this morning, I'm going to go with a quote from one of my favorites, Jim Rohn. He says, don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. Come over here on this side. You can see better. Don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. What does that mean? Oh, I can see I'm not going to get a lot done. Everybody's going to be looking at her her beauty. All right. So a lot of times when we have a task laid out in front of us, we think, man, that's really hard. I wish that wasn't so hard. Do you know how to tie your shoes? No. Do you know how to ride a bike? Yes. Do you remember when you started learning how to ride a bike? Did you think it would be hard? Uh-huh. But what did you do? I, I got used to it. That's right. You got better at it, right? What about swimming? How about putting your face under the water in the pool? Was that hard? No. No? I think it was hard for you. What did you do, though? I blew my bubbles. Blue bubbles? You practiced? Uh Uh-huh. Did you get better? Yes. That's right. So don't wish something is easy. Don't look at something as being hard. Man, I wish that was easier. Look at it as how can I get better at doing this and usually it only takes one thing you know what it takes to get better at doing something practice somebody's been listening (laughs) that's right practice try practice makes perfect that's right nan says you have to try and then you have to practice 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 the more you practice the better you get and the better you get the easier it is Right, just like riding the bike. Riding the bike's not hard anymore, no. is it? It's easy now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you practice a lot. And I still have to practice on my scooter. On well, on the scooter, yeah. And sometimes, even when you get good at something, if you don't do it for a little while, you have to practice all over again, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Just like swimming in the pool. After we've not been in the pool all winter, you get up, you go out there. And you have to learn how to blow bubbles all over again. There's a great title for today's show. Blow bubbles all over again. (laughs) All right, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. It is uh, Hot Coffee Friday. Hey, Hot Coffee Friday. I will be there shortly, although I might be a few minutes late. Uh, But I will see you there if you're going to be there. If not, I'll be back here on Monday properly so joe's got a a really good point there you have to practice doing it the right way if you practice doing it the wrong way you won't get you won't get practice and you won't get better well you won't get better that's correct you'll practice if you practice doing it the wrong way you'll keep doing it the wrong way and if you practice doing the right way you get better Mm -hmm. that's right man she's smart i might have to have her on here some more Especially this summer while she's out of school. All right. You guys have a great Friday. I'll be back here Monday morning at 7 o'clock with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. See you at Hot Coffee if you're going to be there. Otherwise, have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you Monday. You want to say bye? Yeah. Say bye. Bye.